As always with all our videos, if you like the content, hit that like button. If you want to do more, make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned to all the car antics that we have going on a regular daily basis around here. See you soon. Okay, how I start a YouTube video. Okay, I do not always videotape everything that I do on the car, even though you would think that I do. Um, but I'm in here cleaning up a little bit of electrical work because that's got to be done. Um, driver's side of this car needs a little bit of work. Passenger side, I actually painted everything looks really good. There's the, the stripe that goes down the side right there from the molding um, where they took it off. And that can be gooby gone and cleaned out. There's a couple little dings right here. And I'm actually going to buy a PDR kit. Um, and see if I can pop those out. I've always been wanting to, you know, see if I can figure out how to do PDR on a car. You can see there's a couple, couple more dents and dings right here, two identical symmetricals right there. Um, and this is, you know, this is a good part of the car, I won't lie. Now we get that taken care of, you know, we're probably 60% of the way there. <laughs> Let me show you the other side. This side leaves a little bit to be desired. So we got a pretty good little dent and ding right there. Um, another one right there. And then uh, let me close my door. All this trim needs to be repainted, um, which is super easy to do. Uh, most of the moldings look pretty good, but when you start getting into the store, like you can see, I've got, you know, a ridge line here. I've got one here, here. There's another one back over here. So the door needs a little bit of work. Um, and then this quarter panel has got a ripple in it right here. Those are scratches. And then of course the paint starts to go to shit, you know, right here. Um, you know, there's like a, a dent up here, I don't know if you can see it right there. So I got a dent, and then a hole mark right there, a couple of little pieces. Um, front's got some dents and dings in it. It's got some areas that need to be cleaned up. The bumper's gotta come off, probably gotta find a better bumper, replace it. We're just gonna delete the, the rubber bump pads because that's a known issue on these things. We go around to the back. I've got one good one that's probably worth just selling and getting rid of and cleaning these bumpers up and taking those bolts out and filling it. You see all the dents and dings in the back here. It's like ding, 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 ding. It's like somebody just, you know, used this for target practice um, at some point. So we'll have to figure all that out. It might actually be easier just to bondo that section right there and clean it up. And then this section right here is, is punched in. That's gotta be fixed, which, uh, you know, I got a couple ideas on how to fix that. You can see it's got a little paint mark right there. So that decal's gotta come off. That's gotta be repainted. Um, so we're gonna have some body work to do on this. Um, and then on the interior, the seats are getting totally replaced with uh, Pasha covers. Um, you can see the doors are done. And then I've got a replacement dash that I've got to get onto. Carpet's in really good condition, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I don't think I'll spend a lot of time on it. I won't mess with the rear seats because I hear that they're a pain in the ass. Uh, but that's a once around. We're going to be redoing a lot of the suspension work in here. Um, sure could use a dry ice blaster on this, but eh in good time, you know, we'll figure all that out. I've got an entire hose kit, silicon hose to replace all the hoses in here, which is nice. Uh, just a little bit of minor cleanup stuff here. I think this would be good. At some point I'll take the intake off um, and I think I'll, I'll dress that up and that'll give me a chance to get the fuel rail and some of the other stuff. And I think for the most part then, you know, they're, they're AFM, get that cleaned up too. But not a lot to do on this thing. Uh, suspension and a couple other things. I think the wheels look really good on here, but that's a walk around on uh, this little baby. And hey, let me show you inside here. Cause I think the carpet um, looks really good too. Let me, uh, I've got to figure out, they deleted the uh, the rear trunk hatch popper. So I don't have one uh, to figure all that out later on. But now that I've put new struts in here, it comes right up and thanks to Elliot Grafton, I got some carpet. This looks blue, but it's actually black. Uh, that's the original and that's a piece that he gave me. You can see it almost matches from the sun beating down on it. That's gonna happen. I'll probably take all that stuff out and re-dye it. If it's in there really good, I'm, I'm super impressed and happy with, with how it goes in. Um, little kink right here, but it's probably just needs to be pushed down. The spare tire is in there and put a couple more buttons in it. But let's walk around. We're gonna take that part out. I'll probably just throw it in the trash and we're gonna put a piece in there that's gonna replace that. We'll clean all of that up. Really. So what are we doing today? I've got the battery disconnected. I just got in here with a drill and a mini wire brush and I cleaned up the cigarette holder, which I would never use. And I got a, I got a voltmeter, um, which is reading 13.8. So we know the alternator is putting out the battery's good and charged. So that's a great thing. And now what I'm gonna do is get up underneath here and I'm gonna drop the upper fuse box out, that one right there. It's the only one I haven't really cleaned up. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clean all that up real quick. Okay, what am I using to do this today? Simple tools, the Walt drill, and I have two Dremel bits. Um, both of them are wire brushes. And I got in there and I cleaned up the cigarette lighter really good. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that fuse panel out and I'm gonna clean up all the contact ends on there. I was fortunate enough not too long ago to score some more fuses. So I'm gonna inspect all the fuses, see how they look, and then I'll probably end up swapping some of them out. Okay, let me show you what we got here. Got all these out for the most part, except for the blue one from right to left and the one on the far right, everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop all these out and clean up all these contacts real quick. Okay, all these contacts are cleaned up. Actually, I bent them out just a little bit just to make sure I could get some more contact on the inside. We got one fuse here that's completely bad. The rest of these I'll look and I'll go through the bottoms of these and I'll just sand them lightly with some uh, 1500 grit sandpaper. All right, well I lied. I can't find the analgesic grease. But what I did find was the next best thing and that's just a little bit of my, uh, you know, every boy has this. In their closet, a little bit of Vaseline and that's gonna help on just the contact surface, a little bit of petroleum oil, just a tiny bit um, on this to make contact, increase the contact. All right, I just shot that. I'll actually post it in there to be hilarious, but I just did a time lapse of me walking around the car and hooking the battery back up and talking about how we've had electrical issues kind of playing us in this car and hopefully cleaning the fuse box up is gonna help a little bit. It definitely helped us on a cigarette lighter, so let's see what we got. Okay, as we get in here, one of the first things you'll notice is, guys plugged in at 12.99 volts. E-brake is on and fired up let it run for just a second okay we've been getting the oil pressure light coming on um, but of course oil pumps working great so ooh, got a little bit of hesitation let's go bang on a fuel injector here for a minute hold on a couple of the minor issues are lights so let's see if we get on uh, lights front lights have always gone up they came on once upon a time or I should say one came on and nothing here yet. I'll probably pop the balls and make sure we got 12 volts. I have no marker lights on. And let's go around to the back. This could always be a relay too. Now we got nothing here. I'm gonna leave this on for just a second. I can come back and watch it myself. Let's see if we got brake lights. there you get to see that in my one minute. All right, evidently we got no lights coming on now. So uh, I'll have to mess with that a little bit. We got turn signals going and no turn signals going. So I don't trust that stock. We'll go ahead and put our pop-up lockers down and go ahead and close our back real quick. You can hear it's missing a little bit. Let's take her for a run. You can hear it's hunting and lagging and leading and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, temps and pressure still look really good. Not sure what's going on with the seeking in this thing. Probably some carbon buildup, truth be known. So I haven't been able to get this car out and drive it really anywhere and do anything with it. Um, not the car's fault, my fault. I don't have the registration stuff done on it yet. Oil temps and pressures, everything looks really good. Got like a weird back end hum in this, but usually when I get out and run it, if it's skipping a little bit, Skip goes away really quick, so let's see. All right, skip's gone. Let's get the AC on, because that little flapper switch in there, I think, is busted. It gets hotter than Hades in here. I don't want to go too far. I bought mosquito. Uh, man, what's up with the bugs? I don't know if you guys can see that uh, hornet flying around the phone earlier, but not making me happy. 
Um, AC's still working really good. Brakes work good too, by the way. Brakes are up. Um, I did buy, I'm not gonna get too deep into this car because we are gonna change the entire suspension out, but I did buy um, wheel bearings for the front wheels. And I may go ahead and pull apart tonight. I don't know, we'll have to look at what time it is where we're at with dinner, but I may pull apart the right front wheel and uh, go ahead and replace both bearings and seal because I have them, if not tonight, one night this week. Uh, Grace had a really bad wreck in his go-kart this weekend. Pictures. Here's your pictures. after the pictures uh, anyways I may get in and replace the uh, wheel bearing I got to get the lights working on this because I need to do the equivalent of a MOT um, actually not really I could take it up there on a trailer but if I don't have lights or blinkers or turn signals I'm sure I could get yelled at pretty bad and I don't want to get a ticket on that for a vehicle inspection and who knows what I'm gonna get but he's go through a vehicle inspection I can turn all the paperwork and get the uh, get the bonded title um, get the title worked on on this car. So I still got that to do. Um, I don't like driving it. I only drive it in the neighborhood, by the way, because I do have insurance on it, but I don't have a title, don't have a tag, so I don't want to be like totally illegal. Uh, but when I need to get it out and run it, I run in the hood, just get a feel for it. You guys have been on this drive many a times, so don't even really know it, but no skipping. So it's running really good. The car cleans up really well. It's got a couple little you know, Reminolls I gotta clean up on here and we'll get those done, it'll be good. The car's coming along really good. Uh, if I dive back into it tonight, I don't know if I'll make a separate video. I'm probably not gonna dive into it tonight. I got a bunch of stuff to do for work. Um, just wanna catch up going into the week, make sure I'm set up for the week and have a nice relaxing week instead of a crazy week like I normally have and a little preparation should prevent all that. Um, I would like my clock to work. I need to take that apart and figure out what's up, but I am watching the bolts and everything's putting out really well, 12.75 right now, um, you know, which is good. So the alternator's doing well. It's always good to have that little thingy in here. AC's putting out cold air, can't complain about that. I can roll the windows up and be nice and chill. So far so good on this little car. If I get the, uh, get the suspension work done, get the bearings, just get it, you know, shored up, get it aligned so it's uh, good and tight, good and straight, good and clean. You know, I think uh, I'll be happy with that. And then the rest is just like literally minor mechanical shit and some body work. I've still got the engine oil light flashing at me. Um, I don't know, I might phone a friend on that, but I mean, I'm, I'm literally at five bars of oil pressure. So, and it's not low and the oil looks incredibly clean and good. So no idea what's going on with that fans are on cooling's good no other lights no battery lights no nothing else there so i have to research why my engine oil lights blinking at me i know people are like ah why are you driving it you saw the gauge of the ferrari on engine oil pressure you'd understand why but i've got i've got good pressures i'm able to look at it here everything's fine it starts right away so it's not hot there's no oil puddles underneath the car it's not leaking anywhere knock on wood that's an awesome, beautiful thing, so we're happy. Power steering's working. Um, so that's it. That's a longer than needed to be video, but we got out here and ran it around. It's running good. Burns like a kitten, climbs up the hill really good. So uh, eventually I need to put the stereo back in this thing and we'll be all good, be set.